Hello and welcome to this instructional video for installing Python 2.7 and we'll also distri uh, install distribute and pip. We didn't install distribute so that we can install pip and so let's go ahead and get started here. So first thing we want to do is install Python. Let's go ahead and find it and search for Python here. I'm going to use Google as my search engine and this top link here www.python.org I'm going to go ahead and go out to that website and I'm going to click on download here and as it says right here that the current production versions are Python 2.7.3 and Python 3.3.0 so that's uh, the case as of the creation of this video now I'm going to scroll all the way down here no, I'm not. I'm going to scroll right to here. And uh, this is a Windows 8 machine with a 64-bit microprocessor. And so I'm going to go ahead and install uh, Python 2.7.3 for 64-bit. Uh, so I'm going to click on this link right here. This is the MSI installer. And I'm just going to save that which is going to put it in my downloads directory so I'm going to bring up file explorer and here it is so to install that I'm just going to right click on it and click install and it brings up the installer I'm going to go ahead and accept defaults on this and you'll notice it's going to put it right at the root of my C drive which is my system drive it's going to put a directory there called Python 2.7 and I'm just going to install everything and now you, you don't see it but there's a, di a user access control dialog box asking me do you want to allow the following program to install software on this computer it's the usual dialog box I just clicked yes on it so it's going to go ahead and do the install now so it's kind of nice uh, just a nice installer that's been put out there for you to install. Now I'm installing 2.7 uh, even though most of my work is going to be in 3.3 uh, because there's some tools that I want to use that are written for 2.7. One of them is Mercurial and uh, there may be some others too that I want to uh, put out there that are not converted yet for Python 3. So it takes a little time to install all the files, but we'll get there uh, pretty quick here. Another thing that I'm not going to install is virtual environments for 2.7. 3.3 has its own built-in virtual environments, VENVs, they call them, VENVs. So uh, that's what I'll be using for my actual development. Uh, but if you're going to be developing with Python 2.7, that might be something that you want to install. It probably is. So I'll click on finish here. So let's go take a look at the C drive and there it is. So here's the Python 2.7 directory and you can see uh, the different folders, uh, site packages. This is where uh, different packages will get installed. <coughs> so um, now the first time I installed this it asked me to do a, a restart of my computer uh, that didn't happen this time uh, probably because I had it installed already deinstalled it uninstalled it and reinstalled it so now let's go ahead and I'm going to go back to Google here in the browser and by the way I'm using Firefox as you can see from the icon up here and up here uh, so let's uh, let's go look for Python distribute. So right here, this top link distribute, and then some version number, Python package index. So I'm going to go right out to there. And at the time of this video, the current version is 0 0.6.35. It's the latest version. And I'm going to scroll on down here to the bottom. And you'll see 
this uh, zipped up tar file here. I'm going to go ahead and download that file. So let me go back to my downloads folder where it got downloaded to. So I'm going to go ahead and open this in some tool. I'm using 7-zip here for this. And when you open it, you see this DIST folder. I'm going to go ahead and open that. And what you see here is a tar file. I'm going to open the tar file in 7-zip here. Yes, indeed I am. I'm going to have to use File, Open, Open Inside. And you see this folder now. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and extract that folder out to my C drive. And by the way, if you're not familiar with 7-Zip, it is a free uh, zip utility. So uh, here's Distribute now installed out there uh, uh, at the root of my C drive. So now what I'm going to do is uh, hit the, the Windows key and R together. That brings up this, this Run dialog. And I'm just going to type in CMD, which I've done. And this is going to open up a command window. So here's the command window. So now I'm going to switch to my C drive, change to the distribute directory. So CD, DSTR, I'm just going to hit tab and it'll finish it. So there that I am. And so now what I want to do is I want to run Python and I want to run the distribute setup script. So to get to Python, I'll backslash Python 2.7 and then Python. So that's the uh, interpreter, the exe file. And now distribute underscore setup.py. Let's see if I spelled it right. It looks like I did. So this, this file here, distribute setup.py, is in this directory, whereas Python is in this directory. So I'm just going to go ahead and run that. It goes out to the internet and downloads the files and installs them. It looks like it's done. So let me minimize that. And if I go out to uh, Python 2.7 here, just looking at the directories, I'll open up live. I'll go out to site packages. And here we can see that set up or distribute has been set up. And the reason we install distribute is so that we can install pip so I'm going to go back to the browser now and look for Python pip and this is the one I'm looking for I think right here it's uh, www.pip-installer.org and I'm going to click on that so here's the documentation page. Now what's interesting is we're going to use this file called uh, pip or get pip. And let me see. So here's installation. I'm going to go ahead and click on this link. This is the actual page I'm looking for. So I'm going to scroll down on this page and down at the bottom notice it says using get pip. So at this location here that I'm highlighting is this file called get pip.py, get dash pip.py. So I'm going to highlight this whole thing and in Firefox I can do a right click. I'm going to open the link just to show you what the file looks like. And so at the top of the file <clears throat> is this uh, kind of a um, indicator to Python and it's kind of telling where Python is right um, but then there's all this gobbledygook here <clears throat> and if you scroll down 
at the end of it there's some Python code so I was a little concerned when I saw all this gobbledygook but don't worry about it it still works so I'm gonna go ahead back to that page and I'm gonna right click on that link or on that highlighted text and select save link as and I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my Python directory now notice I'm already there so I'm just gonna save it so here's the file so let me go back out to my command line and I'm gonna change to my Python directory and just do a quick directory here so we can see it again and so now we're gonna type in a command to run get pip and so that's just very easy Python get dash pip dot pi and hopefully that will run and it looks like it did even cleaned up after itself there so that's good so let's go ahead and take a look so let's go out to live and site packages and we can see that pip is installed and there are the various pi files commands and so forth so now you can use pip to install other packages uh, like selenium bindings or django or whatever you happen to be working with uh, including virtual environments now as i mentioned i'm not going to be using virtual environments but you might be if you're using 2.7 here um, and this is what we're looking for virtual vnv I'm going to open that here in a new uh, link and so this this page here it's another PyPy page here and it explains all about it and so you can set up different environments for different uh, packages that you're working on different projects that you're working on and so you'll definitely want to get familiar with this tool now there's another tool called uh, virtual VNV wrapper and um, just go out to Google like usual and find it and so this this is just puts a wrapper around virtual environment uh, to make the commands a little easier it's it's just some scripting around it so you'll be interested in that as well so now my Python environment is all set up and I'm ready to go ahead and install Mercurial and uh, any other tools that I want for the 2.7 environment and I'll also be installing uh, Python 3.3 for my own purposes my own development activities so there you have it I hope you uh, benefit from the video thank you for watching